Hi, and welcome to another edition of CSU Matters. Today I'm outside enjoying a spectacular September day here in Cleveland. I'm on the rooftop of our rec center where we've got a unique project underway. Last year, a group of faculty and staff and students, along with many, many community partners, came together to build a rooftop garden. And it's not just any rooftop garden. This is a garden full of produce, vegetables, and herbs that are shared with our campus community. And as they built these gardens, they envisioned a model to help them with the daily work of maintaining a garden. They purchased our first farm bot. You'll learn more about what a farm bot is in this video. Since that time, this garden initiative has grown, the group of people involved has grown, the student engagement has grown, and our capacity to build farm bots through our College of Engineering has also grown. Let's take a look. So Brody, you're an electrical engineering student and you learned about the farm bot early on. Can you explain to people who aren't engineers how this thing works and what a farm bot is? So the farm bot is attached to a plant bed that it will run across and the entire concept for the farm bot is that it is gardening automated. It will pull the weeds out of the bed for you. It will water the plants for you. So let me challenge you a little bit about the watering because I have a sprinkler. What's the difference? I can sprinkle my garden. So one of the things that we were glad to do with the farm bot that was attached to senior design is that we put moisture sensors in the bed so that it wouldn't overwater the soil if it rains. It might skip a cycle of watering or anything else so that you can serve water and it's more efficient. So it knows, it knows how thirsty the plants are. And it also will weed? Yeah. How does that work? It, well, how does it know not to pick my little tomato seedlings? There's two things. There's the camera that is attached that will look and then try and RGB color code what's a weed and what isn't. But then also in their system, you'll mark where all the different plants are and then through its database, It'll be like, this plant normally gets this big. You say how young or old the plant is, so then it knows where in the growth cycle it should be. So then it marks out that area of where the plant is, and then what around it would not be anything attached to the plant. So I'll help water, make sure things are harvested and taken to lift up bikes. You harvest, and then you bring produce to lift up bikes, yeah, which is food that's accessible to any student who is in need, yeah, right? Correct. Who has any level of food insecurity or need for food, right? Mm -hmm. That's pretty remarkable. So we recently um, just partnered with them to do this on their distribution days. We'll get our tomatoes, any other produce that we have, like the peppers and cucumbers, zucchinis, bring them over so students have fresh produce to grab from there. So how many people across campus, I know there's a lot of students involved, but in terms of professionals who are here year after year, how many people are involved and how did you grow this coalition? This is what makes it so unique. I, I don't know of any other program on campus that involves not only the grounds, the recreation center, then the College of Engineering, Arts and Sciences, the College of Health, the School of Education, and then we also have community partners. Uh, Rust Belt Riders gave us the soil, and then also the Cleveland Roots gave us some plants. What all is growing in the, in the gardens right now? Well, we have zucchini, cucumbers, tomatoes, a variety of peppers. We have all different types of herbs. And then we have, right here, we have uh, chamomile. And then behind you is lavender. Do you use many herbicides or? Insects? No, we don't use any. How does this integrate with what you're trying to do with recreation and wellness here at the rec center? I feel like most people think of a recreation center and they think of a gym. And so our programs and services, again, around that um, Shine Well initiative, we want them to know that wellness isn't just physical and mental. And so one of the programs that we actually offer in our off months, once um, fall and winter come, we put the garden to bed and we will be hosting nutrition and culinary workshops, uh, one per month for students to learn how to select produce, prep it, cut it, and then make an easy recipe here in their dorm room or apartment on campus. 